I mean, unfortunately, we're just not seeing the, the low here yet. Um, you know, we're students of the market. We respect what the market's telling us. So, as we've said many times, the, the best strategist in the world is the internals of the equity market. And it's been telling us for months that, you know, growth is probably going to slow. Uh, with the defensive leadership has been almost historic. What I mean by that is things like, you know, utilities and REITs and healthcare, uh, et cetera, have done extremely well at the expense of other parts of the market. And that's a strong signal, even in the face of rising interest rates. So what we think is about to happen now, you know, the, the equity market, S&P 500, has held up extraordinarily well under the face of what I would say the average stock has been in a bear market now for six months. And that's usually the way it works. And so last week's price action, I thought was fairly ominous on Thursday and Friday, where we had the defensives actually going down, as well as the sort of deep cyclicals like energy and materials, which have been terrific places recently, also gave it up. And that tells me we're going into this final phase, which the good news, the silver lining, Becky, is that this maybe we can finally complete uh, this bear market over the next month or so at the index level when we get this thing down 20 percent. And then that'll, that'll kind of clear the decks for us, we think, looking into the second half. When you say 20 percent, you're, you're talking about the S&P 500 or you're talking about the Dow? Because the Dow is only down about 7 percent for the year. That's right. I'm talking about the S&P from its high. Right. So its high was you know close to 4,800. So down 20 would be something like 38, 3,900 which isn't really that far at this point. So we're about halfway there, maybe a little bit more. Um, that would that would make us feel more comfortable that the S&P now reflects what the average stock has been telling us for quite a while. Part of part of this, and you, you, you've walked through some of it, but I think you make a very interesting point that you don't know where the next leadership is going to come from, and that's why you think we're, we're setting up for this, because when you can't look to leadership anywhere, everybody kind of pukes at the same time. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, the defensives have been the place for the last four or five months, but now they're really expensive. I mean, it's hard for me to sit here and get excited about buying defensive stocks when they're this expensive. It's it's the market's way of just sort of, you know, hiding out and eventually that will give way. Now, once again, you know, we'll look, we'll take our cues from the market as we have this. If we have this decline, we're not sure. We, we never be certain of anything. But if we get a decline into, you know, May, June, then what we'll do is we'll look for relative strength, what things are holding up the best for the next stage of leadership. My guess though, Becky, is that in the next phase of the leadership, it's gonna be a mixed bag. I don't think it's gonna be one area or the other. You know, a healthy bull market or, you know, a new bull market will basically see breath improve. So we could see small caps do better. We could see value and growth working better together. And that's what we're hoping for. But we're just not there yet, unfortunately. And we have to be transparent with what we're seeing.